Hey everybody, welcome back. Northern Land plays the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth plus Repentance Isaac Wrath of the Lamb edition. We we did... What the heck did we do yesterday? What the heck did we do yesterday, man? It was a very quiet run. I Because the baby was sleeping, I don't remember much else of what was happening there. We made some great progress on stream yesterday, by the way. I'm not sure if you can tell for yourself. I gotta be honest, for me, I'm, I'm like in the mood for a palate cleanser. What about... I mean, we got a streak of two. Oh my god. <laughs> what about Tainted Forgotten? 7272JE3Q. 7272JE3Q. Um, what about Tainted Forgotten? And we just guarantee with 100% certainty that we make boss rush? How does that sound to you? It sounds, it sounds pretty nice to me. Incredible. We already have uh, 8 HP. So this run, I mean, it it's not going to be, even if it succeeds, it's not going to be the most, uh, you know, incredible yield. We're not going to unlock 10 different things. Why not, dude? But I do think this is like the last, um, yeah, it's the last non-greed mode stuff associated with Tainted Forgotten. Um, I don't even know how I got that heart, but that's fine. Um, which I think just goes to show you, you know, how much I... What the heck? <laughs> how much I enjoy this character. I, I think this might be genuinely... Still quite early here, let's be honest, but it might genuinely be my favorite character in uh, Repentance. They're, they're a great time. They are all that in a bag of potato chips dot com slash slash gub. Exhi Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, Exhibit A. I'll be honest, this doesn't happen too much, but there, there's even a little temptation on my end. Like, what if we looked at this run and we said, you know what? We, we could even play the Eddie room a little bit. <laughs> and maybe I know you're like, don't, but like, unless. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, don't, but like, unless... <laughs> It's like, no, don't do it, you're so strong, but what if, you know what I mean, though? Okay, hold on. I think step one, let, let's see what we got in here. You might be saying to yourself, or maybe openly, I, I do see comments sometimes, people are like, I was literally screaming at my phone when he did this. So you might be saying it out loud for all I know. All I ask is that you maintain some sense of decorum. You know, don't if you're on a bus or public transit or something like that, just whisper it. Go, no, you idiot. You're missing boss rush because you did the boss or you did the donation machine. I'm going to do this, but but people might be saying, hey, you're risking your whole run. The only thing that could screw this run up is what you're doing right now. True, probably. But, y you know, it's the it's the first floor, you know, easy come, easy go is my philosophy. Death card. Okay. Whoa, that's exactly what we were looking for. Um, this is a modest degree of spice, if you don't mind. Because um, I thought... Am I, am I insane to suggest that you could actually get two devil deals if you play your cards right? Or two angel deals, sorry. If you play your cards. Or maybe the next one is merely... A deal with the angel? I don't know. Or uh, the, the angel statue, I should say. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna just fish in the hopes that this is the hero font. With it not being the hero font, I, I get that we could use... You know what? I'm, I'm gonna get freaking loco, man. This, this is how loco I'm willing to get. Because one of these pays out with two spirit hearts. I knew that was coming. I would say most in important thing right now. Try doing some damage. That's a good trick. <laughs> but secondarily, um, don't be afraid to get the heck out of this room after this is done. Because like I'm, I'm worried. Like this strength card is not gonna last forever. You know what I mean? Like as soon as we leave, it's toasted. That's what I mean right there. So I, I think if we stepped on it one more time and it didn't give us spirit hearts, we might have faced certain disaster. Maybe you got a spirit heart in there. It, it was not worth a shot for the record. I'm, I'm, I shouldn't be doing this now because we're like possibly going to be late for boss rush. 
Um, but I, I'm actually somewhat unconcerned about that. I don't, I don't think we are going to be late for boss rush. So what did we get at the end of the day? I like having a key piece, maybe, for... It, it gives us a... It's not worth much. Let me start there. But it does give us the ability to maybe walk into our first deal with the devil and then decide we don't want it because we know that we have future precedent or we, we have some waiting in the direction of a deal with the angel in the future. It wouldn't be 100%. No, that's pretty stupid now that I think about it. I think we got the key piece just to, just to flex. Also because I don't know the exact uh, angel like payout schedule. And I know that there's a chance that it gives you seven spirit hearts. So I, I wanted to keep playing in the hopes that maybe the next one was the seven spirit heart payout. I did not mean to lose my uh, my key there, but you, you live by the, the bone, you die by the bone, 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 bone. Tell me what you're gonna do when you got no freaking keys. There's ways out of this for us. Anyway, they, I, I'm, I'm, we're in a calibration period, you know? Now that, uh, you know, repentance is out, um, every post on the Binding of Isaac subreddit is essentially like me in 2019 versus me now and it's just an image of like um they used to be decked out and deal with the devil merchandise and now they're like the the genuine deal with the angel enjoyer you know i mean we, we definitely want this counterfeit penny has done some incredible stuff for us don't get me wrong but i think that that the purity coin is like mr right and the counterfeit penny was merely um you know mr right now to put it in the parlance of our times. <laughs> anyway. Um, I, I crack me up sometimes. We're, we're gonna, like, overuse, probably. Uh, while we try to figure out where we stand, we're, we're probably gonna overuse the eddy room a little bit. Because it's fun, honestly. This sucks, by the way. Like, it, it obviously, like, is pretty sick. And actually, it turns out it's gonna be totally fine. That was a little spooky, but... Um, and we got the shade out of it, which of course is insanely, like, non-valuable. Um, it's just a kind of a scary boss to fight when we also gave up something like, you know, 10 spirit hearts on the last floor, but... It's okay. We, we made it through. We got nothing to, nothing to fear. Turn off those avionics. It does seem plausible I will not be able to go to my uh, item room or shop. But you know, life goes on. Uh, that's a key. I, I recognize from the sound of the footfall. Okay, so we're probably... I, I feel like Man Tracker, dude. I can tell when a consumable drops from, you know, 35 yards away. Just wanted to see if we could get into that one for free. Yeah, that is mighty nice. Um, I'll be honest with you, we definitely want this. We definitely want this, I think, because we know there's balls of steel in our in our rotation. And there it is right there. That hurts, but it could be worse. That apparently has not impacted us at all. And that was meaningless. But you know what? Just getting the extra spirit hearts is worth something. It's okay. I'll, I'll recover. Somehow. So, nevertheless, I persisted. Um, by the way, we are a little slow for boss rush, but... I genuinely and generally think that when you, uh, you you go slow early in the interest of going faster later, you get some value out of that. The only thing is you actually do have to go faster later. Uh, and hello, Eddie Room. It resets every time, so we can't in good conscience go back for it. But stitches when you can already fly seems like not the best item. We took it because there was no reason to leave it, but... Yeah, it's not uh, it's not a superb choice, I would say in my in my estimation. I do know that it does do some teleport damage, but uh, you know it, it's a tough one because we got to use the arrow keys to aim stitches, and then we got to. You know, I mean, you get the gist of it, I think, after that point. So we'll probably just not use it at all. Is my guess. We'll probably just you know forget that we have it because. Uh, can't imagine that it really helps us do something we can't already accomplish for ourselves. But that's fine. This is a really good run. Um, now that you, I'm, I'm pressed a little bit, you might ask why it's a really good run. Well, that put a damper on things. Uh, well, not on the run, but on my bit when I picked up Magic Mush there. I guess I was going to say the reason that the run was good because was because we had uh, 
a bunch of spirit hearts earlier, and now obviously we we don't. But um, well, we have a decent amount, but not as many as we had on the first floor. Um, but now I'm looking at it, and I'm like, dude, like this is magic mush helps us out a lot. No questions there. Obviously, HP's in a great spot. You know what would really hit the spot? Sack of pennies. That that might be like relic tier right now. Pretty absurd. Also, like the forgotten is kind of like it, it reminds me a little bit of Tainted Jacob. Like it's it's all the you start strong and then later you know you, maybe you have the, the the chickens come home to roost, but maybe you've got you know anti roost. Uh, protection by then. I'm just gonna blow it up. I regret nothing. This is a much better item for us. And here comes the sun. Do 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 do. And I said it's all right. Do 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 do. The Beatles will never get to DMCA me. My pitch is too is too bad for you, traveler. I do need to say I I wanted to bring up tainted Jacob a little bit. You know why? Because yesterday. It's I I take I, again I'm I'm like a probabilistic person I'm a I'm a I'm a gambling nihilist I believe if you place you know 100 bets and each of those bets is expected to pay out one percent of the time you're gonna find yourself occasionally having a, a spectacular uh, seeming event that can be explained merely by the law of large numbers. Um, yesterday... <sighs> I mean, this this is a staggering value, potentially. We, again, try not to screw up Boss Rush, but... Yesterday, I, um... I did a Tainted Jacob run. That They picked it up, you freaking jerk! Uh, and the Eraser showed up on the shop. And chat was like, hey... If you erase Tainted Jacob properly, I'm gonna, because it's just more fun. Alabaster Box, just more fun. Um, if you erase, like, t Tainted Jacob has, like, I don't know, in the hundreds of HP, I think. But if you get him to 15 HP or lower and then erase him, he gets erased permanently. And then you get to just enjoy your run. You no longer have to worry about this guy chasing you around. I will say there is a flip side there. You also no longer get the incredible damage bonus that, that Tainted Jacob gives you by crashing into enemies. But it does make things a little bit simpler. Um, and I said, don't even worry about it. I got it. People were like, please look up the wiki, do the math. I was like, nah, man, I'm just going to send it. So the odds of this, not infinitesimal, but very low. We got it done on the first try. It felt fantastic, man. It's it's a great clip. Unfortunately, it has no opportunity to go viral outside of like the hyper aware Isaac community because of the fact that the amount of context required to understand why this is impressive is like, you know, pages and pages of text. <laughs> but ignoring that. I mean, I guess we'll I guess we'll do it here. Why not? Well, timing? Sure. Oh, wait, wait. Honestly, we're, we are about a minute behind schedule. I'm going to leave the deck of cards. I'm going to hold Alabaster Box. We don't have... Uh, we don't have to. Straight up, we could take deck of cards. But I'm, I'm hoping Alabaster Box, you know, right off the bat, it might not give us the... the items we're looking for, but it also gives us a chance to get some truly spectacular items. So I know we could go back to our, uh, we could go back to our shop and we could bomb and probably get enough spirit arts to make it happen, but, uh, and, and then take deck of cards with us moving on. But we, we gotta, you know, we gotta prioritize here. And I think Alabaster Box, just more fun. And it, it comes up in chat now and then, so it, it's worth maybe mentioning what this item does. Alabaster Box gives you two, the, two items from the deal with the angel pool when it pops, the only way you can charge it, um, barring some kind of edge case that I, I can't even think of right now, um, the only way that you can charge it is via Spirit Hearts. I thought that might come from that direction. Um, is via Spirit Hearts. So, 
Having um, like this purity penny is actually pretty sick. Now that would have been a great opportunity to demonstrate it, but unfortunately, um, the the game didn't want us to win. They don't want you to get healthy, egg whites and all that, because um, it gives us some spirit hearts, and we use those spirit hearts, of course, to generate the alabaster box charges and and so on and so forth. Speak now, forever hold your peace. Once we get it done, the item is gone, and that's okay, you know? It, it's still a pretty sizable uh, advantage, for sure. We're, we're very close to it actually popping. And the deal with the angel, it's it's not even just like the, the deal with the angel pool has so many good items, although it does have a, a large assortment of, of pretty solid stuff. It's more that like, you know, deals with the devil. I mean, you're gonna make me say it, and I, I feel bad about it, but you know, they, they cost HP, and HP is somewhat more precious in Repentance than it was in Afterbirth Plus. Uh, and, but then on top of that, a lot of deals with the devil will just make you feel insulted and, and unappreciated, quite frankly. You get a lot of deals with the devil that are like, hey, did you want to pay, like, some of your precious HP for a, an item that has no impact on your run whatsoever? And you're like, you know, there was a time where I was like, thank you, sir. May I have another? Now I'm like, I don't know, I, I've got a new level of, of respect for myself, I guess. We do need to pick up the speed a little bit here. Many people will tell you that you're ascribing malice uh, to a game where it, it doesn't apply. The engine doesn't know you exist. You don't need to, you know, be so bent out of shape. To which I reply, that's what the game wants you to think. There's actually a little microphone... We should have bought restock first, obviously. Um, battery charges, by the way, do not work. But uh, for Alabaster Box specifically, mm, that would have worked though. Um, there's a little microphone inside of uh, inside of Repentance source code. Even if you don't have a microphone hooked up to your computer, it can tell what you're saying, and it it operates like the desire sensor in in Monster Hunter. Um, it tries to just irritate you and and give you. It, it's so insidious, right? Because it tries to give you. Things that will make you mad, but then when you get mad, it tries to bring you back. You know what I mean? It tries to be like, okay, we're so we do a little trolling here, etc., etc. It's 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 dastardly, man. By the way, none of this is true. In case you somehow believed what I just said there, but um, or is it? No, it isn't. But what if it were? <laughs> Feel I just say. Uh, Okay, we're, we're well behind schedule. Now is the time to, e even at the expense of uh, item rooms, shops, and, and so on, now is the time to just progress as quickly as possible to ensure that like the reason we started this run is not lost in vain. I do see the bombs. I re rest assured. I s or not the bombs, sorry. I see the bo the that we have bombs. And we could be skipping this room. This room shouldn't be that bad in the whole scheme of things. I think there are other rooms later where we might consider like, hey, time is, uh, you know, now I'm like, maybe I'm wrong about that. But anyway, th this floor, I love that there's like now there's like built in uh, rushing defensibility. Like it used to be like if you ever left the floor without, you know, combing it for resources, you kind of got lit up. People are like, oh, this guy doesn't care. Now, you're like, uh, it's simple, dummy. I'm just trying to get a planetarium. I'm, he's just upping his planetarium chance. Oh, this, I, I didn't even realize strength would do it for us. Okay, honestly, this is pretty okay. This is a nasty boss, but this is not bad. Holy water is a nice little, like, freeze. And then, you know, obviously, um, whatever the heck the Indiana Jones item is, it, it, it's got some merit of its own as well. Remember, you don't need to fight the angel statue. You just need to pick up an item that is half decent, which does, doesn't really exist, and then get the heck out of town. Okay, and we leave the luck upgrade behind, because honestly, that's our way of paying tribute and saying thank you. Now, we're only about a minute and a half behind schedule now. Dude, the AoE damage on the throwable head is actually sick. It's like we, we now have a Godhead Bone Lord. Which is uh, <laughs> quite the sentence. Uh, we, we're, we're gonna endeavor to move through this run pretty quickly. 
I certainly think we can easily beat Boss Rush. Um, well, easily is a heavy... It's doing a lot of heavy lifting in that sentence. I, I think it's certainly the majority case that it's going to happen. The only thing I would say... Well, that, that puts a slight damper on it. Um, different versions of Champion Mom can cause some problems there. I, I'm... The Flush Defender has logged on. Straight up, like, I don't consider this item to be nearly as bad as, as like, the average viewer, I think. Like, I, I know it's not gonna, you know, win you the game by itself, but... It's, uh... It's not that bad, man. I, I feel like Flush gets kind of a... It gets done dirty. I mean, it's bad, but it's not number two. I mean, because number two is better, but I'm at number two as in, like, your bowel movements, you know? Okay, so yes, and sure, we'll take this as well. Um, and we'll take this as well. And is it just money? That's kind of exactly what I was looking for, because we can get a bunch of spirit hearts. I know, I know, by the way, time is of the essence. I'm, I'm not acting like I know, because I'm going slow, but... We're leaving a lot behind. That's fine, dude. Because you know what? We're bombing our way through here. Don't want to see ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Get out of my face, dude. Okay, good. We, we, we left some stuff behind. There's no questions there. Faster. Simply needs to be faster. It's... No, we're, we're fine. We're, we're actually okay. Might lose some HP in our, in our aggressive pursuit of victory here. But that's okay. That was good. Okay, does it matter? Um, I mean, permanent Polaroid invincibility, that hurts. Permanent Polaroid invincibility is probably just better for us in this rare case. I think you can totally use the D6 here. <laughs> we don't really want Black Bean. We'll, we'll fish for something a little better. It does add some mental overhead to this run, but... I, I do... In a way, I kind of wish we took the negative for the extra damage, because, like, I think this is going to be a little bit laborious. But we're also going up against, like, let's not call them hard bosses. That's, like, an insult to gaming. Um, but we're going up against some bosses that are a little tankier than the norm. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. We also... Oh, dude, Delirium gave us a little Incubus there for a minute. I feel like we need a range upgrade. What what happens if you just get like infinite range on on Tainted Forgotten? Like, does he just get a bone uh, strong enough to <laughs> strong enough to <laughs> to defeat Metal Gear? You know what I mean? Gaming. Okay, that's that's a gimme. These are the kind of enemies I'm excited to go up against. Now this is our reroll opportunity. Come on, you, you don't want us to take Black Bean. That's just like, that's an insult. Fruitcake is a is a weird one. I don't know how to feel about this. Do we have like Baby Plum? Baby Plum Delirium is, is killing it for us in here. Um, it, it's tough because I think that actually like the effects on the tears, if, if your damage kind of sucks, I think the effects on the, you know what? I, I actually have a play here. I don't know if this is how it works, but I think Fruitcake plus weird tears can generate coins for us. The coins that it generates can be turned into spirit hearts and thus give us a little bit more uh, survivability. You know what I mean? I don't know if the tier effects all work with the bone. That's the thing. I'm realizing, like, this... We should be totally fine, but it's gonna be a little laborious. Like, our, our damage actually kind of stinks. <laughs> The negative would have helped, it wouldn't have saved it. I mean, like, the, if you look at the item tracker, like... We didn't really get that much on this run, except, like, some pretty solid deal with the angel items, and then also, uh, magic mush. And that's all it takes, but at the same time... <laughs> wouldn't mind having a little more, you know, gas in the tank. But I guess that's... current events. Um... Okay, try not to walk into any more red poops. I'm, I'm pretty sure, like, half the damage we've taken so far is is uh, red poops. Okay, I don't even know... Oh, two of hearts, that's right. Good damage. Love to see it. I know what you're saying, because this is like people get very bearish right now. They go, he's going to die. I'm telling you, do not bet on death here. We're not going to die. 
That guy scared the crap out of me. We're probably going to get low enough on HP that it's a little embarrassing. Things will temporarily look somewhat harrowing. And then we're going to come out of it with the dub. We're going to pick up a bunch of coins. We're going to get enough spirit hearts. And then you're going to end... I, I walked into some more red poop, I think, maybe. Um, then you're going to be in the comments like, Well, he would have died if he didn't get that amazing trinket ten floors ago. And it's, it's, let's just spare each other the, the trouble there. Just acknowledge, the dub is incoming. Thank you for the coins. It's just gonna, it's gonna look kind of bad for the time being right now. We got a heck of like a, a dangerous uh, forgotten here, man. I, I totally neglected to mention that he also has the, the attack fly circling around. What, what? What did I get hit by? Maybe I'm a fool? But I, I, I felt like I got hit... Oh, no. <laughs> I felt like I got hit by uh, nothing there? Maybe I got hit by the spike rock? Three and a half HP. We're, we're chilling. <laughs> we're, like, a little anxious, but we're chilling. It's like we're waiting for the results of our final exams with our friends. That time I deserved that. Two and a half HP. We're chilling, dude. I'm like Magellan. I'm so gelling right now. I ref this isn't how I go. Al Albert Finney. Big fish. This is two HP. This is how I go, man. Skolex, thank you. Love to see it. Absolutely love to see it. Thank you, baby plum do 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 baby plum do 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 do. That's what we like to see right there. Some guaranteed damage right off the jump. Keep it going. Great stuff. Hello, little Chad, if that is your real name. Get owned. I didn't even do anything. Luigi wins by doing absolutely nothing. And thank you for the demon heart. Saved. Saved. Um, let's take eyeball tears. I don't necessarily think they're gonna be good. But I think it'll be interesting. I, I think that they might have some interesting mechanics. Okay, now we can chill out a little bit. We don't, like... I'm not saying we got, you know, guaranteed dubs. Because that would be fundamentally ridiculous. However, we're unlikely to be destroyed... You know, as, as it, it, it's easier to follow what's going on on these rooms. Let's put it that way. <laughs> than it was, uh... Than it was on the boss rush. That's pretty good, but it's not as good as what we're looking for. By the way, I'm a fool. I must acknowledge we can go into our curse room here, and, and every spirit heart matters. So, if you'll excuse me. Uh, we we kind of... Did a ring around the rosy, but that's all right, dude. Contract from below. Movie, r slash movie details. Whoops. You ever notice that contract from below says um, Isaac on the bottom of it? Crazy, man. They thought about everything. You think about everything, don't you? <laughs> Just wanted to open, but not be scared. That's fine. That's fine. Just wait for it. We need the keys because we are going. We're going light side path this time. I might get defeated by my new muscle memory. That'd be a first. Usually, it's like my muscle memory from 2013 is like you know, getting me in trouble. I I don't remember what you do, but I thought it was kind of good. However, I also acknowledge we we kind of need our trinket right now. Like the existing trinket we have is our, our ticket to paradise. It's simply one ticket to paradise, because the uh, creator of, of the song you might have thought I was referencing is notoriously litigious. Um, apparently, there was an episode of The Office where Michael Scott references two tickets to paradise, and um, just by singing one millisecond of the chorus of the song, the creators of the show had to pay the writer of the song fifty thousand dollars so you know I'm, I'm not in the market for that right now i don't think i would be you know it's got to be money on my end or it's no freaking deal so let's call that one no freaking deal this is the smallest floor i've ever seen 
Like, are, are you seeing the size of this thing, man? Two spirit hearts? I Now we gotta make a decision, you know, are, are we rushing or are we dragging? I'm feeling pretty good about- I mean, we could always just fight the boss and then, you know, decide after that how we feel. I still- I mean, maybe I'm just losing it, man, because I'm fighting these guys and I'm like, I don't even know what hit us. It would be awesome if you guys just paid out with coins. Like, if you literally laundered my money and then returned it to me in a cleaner state. Butterbean, um, thank you for the reroll pedestal. I, I greatly appreciate it. Box of stuff? Mm, not a, not against it. This one I think we just blow up straight away. Trying to get some extra cash for spirit hearts. Thank you, thank you. I'm excited. Mm, I'm not that excited actually, but thank you for asking. Uh, Reroll Butterbean. Became Golden Razor. It does damage. It costs us five cents, but it does damage. Um, I think we, we can afford a little two-fold... Uh, farming here. What do I mean by this? Well, we'll get extra uh, reroll charges that we can use on the D6, uh, and well, use use on Golden Razor, I suppose. We'll get extra money that generates spirit hearts. Those are the two folds to which I was referring. And when it comes to that, like the more the merrier, man. Every extra penny changes things greatly. I think we've done okay for ourselves on this run. Obviously, the arcade is potentially, like, a money-rich environment as well. Um, I, I wouldn't say, like, this is the best run I've ever played. But in a way, you know, I, I think there's some merit in, in this game known as the Binding of Isaac. And hey, man, maybe in the game of life as well. To know when to say, like, enough is enough. I'm going to be actually a little lazy here and just finish this route off so I don't have to backtrack. Um... I think there's some merit in, in knowing, you know, when you're at a level. I don't even know what that is. Oh, uh, rocks become spiders, right? I mean, that's pretty sick. I think there's some merit in, in knowing when to hold them, knowing when to fold them, knowing when to walk away, and knowing when to run. You know, I, I'm a fan of uh, basically getting exactly as strong as I need to get on an Isaac run. And then moving on with my life and, and popping another one into the books. I've long been a proponent, and I'm not trying to get up on a soapbox here. The occasional breaking run can be a lot of fun. Happens in greedier mode, for sure, all the time. Um, dude, I mean, we gotta... Hold on. This this requires some thought. Now I'm like, maybe we will break it. <laughs> it, it actually requires no thought at all. We're just gonna play this until it pays out with whatever... I mean, it's gonna either pay out three times, or we're gonna run out of money. I guess it could also pay out one or two times and we could run out of money as well, but... Technology Zero is a fantastic choice, thank you. Voodoo Head, extra curse rooms is a little late to probably be useful, but I'm not against it. But I'm, uh, I don't know. I, I, I think I know when to say enough is enough, you know? I think, it, it, honestly... That's why, like, incremental games, I never really have vibed with them that much. Because I think, like, the, the pleasure in those games is, like, number goes up, right? Sometimes I, I would play them, and the number would start going up, and I would be like, Oh, I get the picture. I don't need to play it anymore. In my head, I've already experienced the number going up. I know where it's going. Maybe it's time to move on to something different. I do see that tinted rock back there, by the way. That's not to say, uh, you know, incremental games are without merit, for sure. I'm just, uh, for me personally, I, I don't know. I, I'm more of a quantity versus quality guy, I guess. I just gotta say it. Okay, now don't, don't go down. There you go. We, we do want the eternal heart. Like everybody, all they, they treat it as if it's a true statement. You know, that, that quality is better than quantity. I'm not sure you're, you're, you're going to, you know, make me say it, but, you know, quantity has a quality all of its own. There's some times where you're like, I want a single piece of handcrafted sushi, you know, from, from Jiro Dreams of Sushi. And then there's some times where you're like, that sounds fine, but what I could really go for right now is like a eleven ninety five all-you-can-eat buffet. And even if the food is not that good, I'm going to eat a lot of it. <laughs> you know, people, you're in a different mood uh, on different days. 
I don't know what you are. Wait, wait, wait. This is cool. It explodes um, corpses. Yes. But then again, I guess a quality run has a quantity all of its own as well. The quantity is just time. So we... Oh, right. Yeah, you place it there. So we got these things, and then we press the space bar. They corpse explode like they're from the uh, Necromancer in Diablo 2. Can't take it. That's fine. That's fine. Honestly, like with seven bombs, I'm just like in the business of, I think, getting out of this floor or out of this room. I placed more bombs than I should have, but that was in the interest of keeping some spiders chunking along as well. Enjoying the spider plays. No, thank you. I, I mean, I don't know what it does, but no, thank you. And I think we could all learn a lesson there. If you don't know what something does, you should say no thank you sometimes. You should be like, I, to be honest with you, I, uh, thanks but no thanks. You, uh, get owned. Get owned. You ever do that classic PSA? Don't you put it in your mouth. Don't you, I, I don't remember the rest of it, but you get the gist of it. It's been a while. I, I remember a lot of Canadian PSAs, though. I mean, there's, uh, nobody's good at everything, but everybody's good at something. You ever see that one? He's got this kid that makes, like, a T-Rex noise with his mouth, and I guess it's, like, to promote healthy self-esteem. It's like, hey, don't worry about it. You, you might not be good at making a T-Rex noise with your mouth like this guy, but he's really bad at, like, driving or something. So, you know, it all, it all washes out in the end, I think, is the, <laughs> is the, the sentiment. Mega Satan. I mean, I suppose we could just fight Mega Satan and end this this charade. No, no real reason for us to. Ooh, thank you. Take this all the way. To, yeah, yeah. We already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did it. We're good. We're good. Okay, move on. So it's very simple, dude. I I think Mega Satan is gonna get bodied pretty hard here, cause like anything that he shoots out that's not a beam. Or this specific attack. He's going to run into a lot of heat. We're doing a, a lot of damage. And by a lot of damage, I mean less damage than I would like. But it's like Bilbo said, right? I like half as many of you twice as well as you deserve. He, it's something like that. Come on. I know that's not the exact verbiage that Bilbo uses. But I also haven't, aliv uh, haven't lived for 111 years. So... You know, forgive me, I'm like one three thousandth of his age. I'm just trying to... Oh, thank you. I'm just trying to, you know, compete with the best here. So when it comes to uh, Vade Retro, not Vade Retro, as I've been corrected many times, um, I think we're just going to try to fill up, like, the entire screen with corpses. Uh... Like, this should help us out a great deal. Assuming they don't disappear. If they disappear, that'll be, uh... That's a different story altogether, but... We got a black rune. Okay. Not not really the time nor the place. I feel like it would be ideal for me if more of the enemies died closer to the top here. So that Mega Satan actually got hit, but... Actually, you know what? I... I'm disappointed. I, I pressed the space bar. I expected all of these enemies to die because they're not all that in a bag of potato chips. And then that's that's the thanks I get. So I, I black runed because I thought it actually gave us a coin. Clearly that's not the case. We may die here. I'm just going to be honest with you. I, I, this may, might not be what you want to hear from an entertainment standpoint. Um... But, like, if we die here, we've still accomplished our mission on this run. That's the beauty of Isaac in, in the pre-streak period. Oh, my God. Okay, that actually turned out really well. <laughs> if we die, we die. It's not that big of a deal as long as we accomplish the, the post-it note stuff that we came for, right? And this one is, is looking pretty solid. It's, what the heck? Where did you come from? <laughs> I, I, I didn't think you had it in you, just to be honest. Hey, come here. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come here. This is great. Keep keep up the great work. Tainted Forgotten, very strong defensive capabilities here. You love to see it. Uh, 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 you didn't block those. It's alright, you created a little channel. And you're also permanently slowing the boss because of that Alabaster box play earlier. I, th I tried to blow up my own delirium because I was concerned about it. Okay, the, the money. The money did not generate a half spirit heart for us, but that's okay. I didn't want it anyway. Sorry, I didn't want it anyway. Money, highly overrated. One of the most overrated resources in the game. So is HP, for that matter. All we need is is skill. Just look at this. Non-stop skill. Tapping the arrow key as fast as I can. Gonna make a supersonic man out of you. Don't stop me now, because I gotta... I never wanna stop at all. Tonight I've got a streak that's almost three. As I explode... Okay, I get greedy, greedy. We can't fight Delirium. Like, it, it's... First off, we've already done it. Secondly, it's instant death. So you, here's what you do. Yeet! <laughs> Imagine if we missed, though. Anyway, that was that was big. We did what we had to do. Posted note is looking mighty nice. We do have to do Beast with the Forgotten. Beast and Greedier. That's it, man. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button, of course. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Twitch.tv slash Northernland. By the way, I'm live every day. Uh, except Saturday and Sunday. See you there, 11 a.m. Pacific. See you.